Raider Nation, how we doing? And Texans Nation, if you're watching. Um, the Oakland Raiders have traded Gary on Conley to the Houston Texans for a third round pick. Now, before we get into the material here, let's get around, let's get the particulars over. Let's get the normal stuff over. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, comment below on your comments of this trade. Um, yesterday was awesome. Over 450 people watching at the same time. Uh, our live stream of the Raiders Packers game didn't go the Raiders way, but still I love the support from the Raider nation and the Packers nation. It was a lot of fun to see you guys there. And uh, just remember every Sunday and Thursday, look out for our live streams for Thursday night football and at least one game on Sunday. It, there'll always be the Raiders game, but there might be more than just the Raiders game. So just remember that. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, Gary Ann Conley is a Houston Texan. And, yes, the Raiders are playing the Houston Texans this week. Um, Third-round pick is actually a little surprising only because that's a pretty good pick for Gary on Conley, and that shows how highly the Texans value him over the Raiders. And I'm a little surprised by that. I honestly, guys, I don't know how to feel about this trade. It's, it's, too, it's still a little new in my heart, in my head to think about, but – I'm leaning towards I don't like it. Um, I know Conley has been struggling. I know our defense has been struggling. But it just seems like any first-round pick that John Gruden didn't make, he's getting rid of. Um, and it's uh, look look at the statistics here, okay? Uh, you know, Cleo Mack gone, Amari Cooper gone, Gary on Conley gone, all guys that were not picked by, uh, you know, John Gruden. So, um the third round pick is actually a pretty nice, you know, pretty nice rec receiving the third round pick is actually not a bad. I'm sorry. I got jumbled the words there, guys. I'm sorry. But uh, we do it off the cuff here. It's all for fun. We do it off the cuff. But uh, what's his name there? That fucking guy. We'll do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> but uh, to get a third round pick for Gary on Conley, I think is a little bit of a steal. Um He's not very highly rated by Pro Football Focus, by the NFL, uh, by um, you know Pro Football Live, all that stuff. He's not a very highly rated cornerback, and I think that him moving to the Texans is going to make him even better because he doesn't have to do that man-to-man -man stuff that the Raiders harp on day in and day out. The man-to-man -man coverage kills the Raiders' defense every and it's because we draft guys that don't know how to do man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if you told me they're trading Gary on Conley away to bring in Jalen Ramsey, who's a wonderful all-pro man-to-man cover cornerback, I would have been happy. But they trade away Gary on Conley to the Texans, and now Trayvon Mullins is going to replace him, a rookie uh, at the starting job. So it just shows that John Gruden is trying to get his guys in there so his team will succeed. And you know what, guys? As Raiders fans, if you would have told me we'd be 3-3 three and three after seven games or six games, I would say you're wrong. We're going to be 1-5 and five or 2-4. and 3-3 three and three is actually really good. You should be very happy with where they are. The Packers are a really good team. It sucks the way we lost, but the Packers are a really good team. And one mistake kind of shifted the momentum. But we hung with the Packers for the, almost the whole first half. And if that tra if that turnover never happened, you don't know what might have happened. And I, that's God's honest truth. I really think that the Raiders might have had a chance to win the game if that fumble never happened. Um, you know, John Gruden says that Trayvon Mullen's going to start. And John Gruden also says that he's going to look for ways to improve in the trade deadline. Now, when I hear that, I see Vic Beasley. I would love for the Raiders to have Vic Beasley. He's a pass rusher. We have barely any pass rush whatsoever, and Vic Beasley would just be perfect for us. On the cornerback side, I have no idea. I think he's going to go with Worley, um, Trayvon Mullins, uh, Joyner in the slot, and then Isaiah Johnson, the guy that they drafted this year as well. Uh, at the cornerback position, which is going to be tough because the position is struggling already. So, sucks that Gary and Conley's gone. Um, 
I still don't know how to feel about the pick or the trade, but as of right now, I am not a fan of it. We'll have to see going forward if it works out, and obviously we'll have to wait till next year and see who we pick in the third round for that to see how uh, how good that trade's really going to work. Because just like both trades, I mean, with the MAC trade, we're still waiting till the end of this draft, maybe the 2021 season, to see if we actually won that trade. So we'll see what happens. Um, before we go, though, I just want to bring up this thing really quickly, okay? I looked at from when John Gruden signed on to be the Raiders head coach, his trade, the people he traded, and the people he traded for, okay? So John Gruden has traded away Khalil Mack, all pro, uh, Amari Cooper, best Dallas receiver right now, doing very well in top 10 stats-wise all around as a receiver. Uh, Gary on Conley, we don't know yet. Jameis Olawale. Not really a big deal. Cordell Patterson, he's contributing for the Bears. So they he traded away two All-Pros. Or, a, I'm sorry, a Pro Bowler and an All-Pro. Now, this made me really sad to see. So, John Gruden has traded for, obviously, Antonio Brown, not with the team. Zay Jones, we don't know yet. Martavis Bryant, not in the league. Ryan Switzer, we traded him again before the season even started. Uh, Christian Hackenberg, released. A.J. McCarron, released. Uh, Kuleche Osemele, uh, that big, big offensive guard, traded him the Jets. And then Trevor Davis, who's on the team now. So of all the guys that he's traded for, we have Trevor Davis and Zay Jones, two wide receivers. Um, the, the, the traded is much better than the traded for. Okay? For him to trade for guys like Martavis Bryant, Ryan Switzer, Christian Hackenberg, AJ McCarron. I mean, it's it that's unbelievable. And by the way, Osemele goes in the traded thing. I apologize about that. Let's move the air over here. So yeah, see, he goes to the this side. But yeah, and so you put Osemele on there, and Osemele is a solid offensive guard. So I understand what John Gruden do is trying to do, what Mike Mack is trying to do. They're trying to make it their team, but they've traded away a lot of talent and brought in Trevor Davis and Zay Jones, which I love Zay Jones, but it's not Cleo Mack. It's not Amari Cooper. It's not Osemele. It's not Conley. It's just it's, I'm, I, I'm trusting the process, but it's getting to be a little tough. So come on, Gruden, show us something soon because I'm losing my mind. <laughs> All right, guys. So the saga of the Oakland Raiders continues to go. Um, you know, hopefully there's some good news where we trade for some decent players like Vic Beasley and maybe a linebacker. That'd be really nice because if we can get Tyrell Williams back and Trent Brown back, I mean, we got a chance to make some really big strides on offense. But, man, oh, man, we need a lot of help on defense. They've got a lot of cap room this offseason, and I think they're going to go after someone big, and it better be a pass rusher. For the love of God, we need a pass rusher. It's it's just it's so our our it's so bad and Khalil Mack they traded him away and our pass rush has been horrible since and that's the truth and Max Crosby's looking better than our number four overall pick <sighs> I don't know but like I said at the beginning please like please subscribe and please comment below on how you feel about this trade and as always let's go Raiders. <laughs>